Let's talk about render settings inside of Unreal Engine 5.6 because they can be kind of confusing. It's kind of a balancing act between three things. Your camera, your post-process volume settings, which is basically going to be the settings for your Lumen and Path Tracer for the most part. And then on top of that, the render settings inside the render movie queue. So those three things all together will make how your image looks when it comes to render time. So what I've created is something that's a template so that when it comes to render time, you don't have to worry about setting things up. It's going to be set up for you. So when you open up Unreal Engine, you can just start creating. And then when it comes to render time, you just copy paste. Boom, you're good to go. So the way this works is you download the template from my Patreon, which right now you can get on sale for fall 50 is the code. You can get your first month for $2.50. Totally fine if you just cancel after you download this, I get it. Uh, but it does help me out. So what you do is you right click and you clone to make a copy of that and then just build your project. So once you open that up, you'll see you get this scene here, which is very light, easy to go scene with simple instructions. All you have to do is grab the post process volume and copy that. And now you're good. So now you can come in here, you can go to a new level, create a new basic level if you want, or motion design level, whatever, you, whatever you're working on. Once inside there, paste that post process volume, and this is gonna give you all of your Lumen and path tracing settings good to go. Now, depending, then everything again is set up for render time, so it's gonna be quality at render time, not performance in the viewport or anything like that. So if your GPU is struggling uh, with the viewport, you can come up here to the gauge and go to the viewport scalability and switch it to auto to adjust it for your GPU specifically. But when it comes time to render time, it's gonna be the same settings no matter what, so you're good to go. So the way this works is basically once you have it set up, you know, you obviously you create a camera, cinematic camera, boom. And then what you do is you add the movie render queue at a level. So this is my first movie, right? And then you grab that. I think that is what I called my first one. You grab this and drag and drop it in. Now you've got your camera cut, everything good to go. So you're ready to render your movie. You could animate it if you wanted to. Go on to the render this movie to a video or image sequence. Click this button. Now it pops up with this option right here. All we need to do is click the unsave config settings right here. Boom. And rather than coming in here and adding everything in, all we have to do is click the save config and we can either choose my Lumen settings or my path tracer settings. Choose the Lumen settings and say yes, and boom, we are good to go. We got PNG sequence, we got the anti-aliasing setup and the console variables that we need to get things going. Now, obviously you can adjust the resolution. It's set to 1080 right now, but you could adjust that to whatever, and then choose what it's going to be named and where you want to save it. And then you just click accept and then you hit render and it is good to go. You'll need to save your map, but that is all you'll have to do to render that out. And the same thing applies with path tracer. So hopefully that helps you guys out.